My name is Alex Murray. I'm the CEO and founder of Right Design. Well, we see the Media Access Bureau fitting in in a number of areas. First of all, to meet the supply requirement that we might have. Our business isn't necessarily always busy in one particular area. So if we did have a bottleneck on video production work, then we would be able to use the overspill uh, requirements down here. At the same time, we need to meet SLA requirements from our clients that we've contracted legally to deliver. And having this facility here would mean that any uh, emergency uh, crisis situation that we need to manage within our own network, we could outsource uh, and, and still meet those delivery requirements and uh, ob obligations. We would uh, we'd look to work with a facility like MAB to be able to provide freelancers that work with us to be able to overspill and come and work within the network on the kind of kit that is normally quite expensive to acquire and to, and to run and obviously meet the software licensing requirements and legal obligations that we would have. And part of our disaster recovery program would be the facility that within a number of hours we could be down here continuing to work and deliver projects. Flexibility would be in our ability to bring in a number of people very quickly to help staff up resource upon a particular project. If the client had reduced a timeline for delivery or if we needed to add more capacity for any reason, we'd be able to do that and connect the people working across the project uh, you know, through a very, very uh, effective and uh, efficient internet connection. In terms of looking at the next 12 trading months, for instance, we are going to be very conscious about capital expenditure. We are not going to be investing much more in terms of upgrading the technology we currently have. We don't feel there's a need to do that. It's perfectly adequate for what we need to deliver. But at the same time, being able to outsource that and making the upgrading of that technology, renewing or acquisition of software licenses somebody else's problem that we can dip in and out of on a project by project basis makes it much more manageable. We can protect margins within our, within our organization. Part of our corporate social responsibility charter is to look at a much more sustainable business model. And that's just not talking about uh, the, the planet and about resource, but it's about energy use. And it's about economic and social sustainability as well. So whereas we've been very internationally minded historically, we're trying to reduce our, our global travel. We wanted to understand what tel talent and technology is available to us in the region. And the networking and the collaborative uh, events and the collaborative environment that we created is certainly something that we're going to want to look into so we can be more responsible about investing in the region and reinvesting into other businesses that we see as complementary value-add organizations and, and sort of being much more focused on home. But I can see most agencies who aren't structured the way we are moving into rich media as it's becoming much more mainstream in terms of today's way of communicating, advertising, social uh, media you know, production. That's, that's a lot of agencies going to just want to use the facility for that reason. Yeah, I think that's where it levels the playing field a little bit, where we've been fortunate to have the ability to make the capital expenditure and have the talent available to us to drive that, that technology as well. I think now it's saying, okay, well, we're going to make this available to people on a pay-as-you-go, uh, hour-by-hour, day-by-day uh, rate. And, and I think that's great because it means we've got to step our game up. Competition's good for us. I think it's very healthy. But, uh, yeah, it certainly levels the playing field a little bit.